Well, we are leaving the beautiful Bahamas. We're leaving Grand Key. We're on our way back home to Stewart. We had a ton of fun. We didn't catch a bunch of fish, but we tried really hard. We, yes, we did. The diving was incredible regardless. Incredible. I've been to the Bahamas probably six times, and these were the best reefs I've ever seen. Amazing coral heads that came up like 20 feet from the bottom. It was just incredible. We had a great time though. We're all sad that we're going home, but I will meet you guys back in the kitchen to do that hogfish catch and cook. We're going home. The day before we left the Bahamas, I filleted up our catch from the last day. It's actually illegal to bring fish fillets from the Bahamas back to the US. However, you are allowed to bring whole fish back or you can fillet any reef fish such as grouper or snapper as well as dolphin and wahoo, but you must leave the skin on the fish. So I filleted these hogfish but left the skin on the fillets. Typically hogfish have super white meat and not a lot of blood, but all that blood is from where it was speared. That's why it is so important to try to get good shots while spearfishing so you don't have all that blood in the fillet like this one does. Now that we're back home, welcome back to the kitchen guys. For tonight's dinner, I'm doing a simple baked hogfish with orzo pasta and sauteed zucchini and squash on the side. I started out by now removing the skin off the fillets as well as removing the small line of pin bones. And there's that beautiful white meat that everyone loves about hogfish. I took two glass baking dishes and sprayed the bottoms with Pam and placed my fillets in. I lightly seasoned them with some salt, pepper, and some Old Bay seasoning. I squeezed on some fresh lemon juice, laid on some butter slices, as well as some lemon slices, and these babies were ready for the oven, which I had preheating at 350 degrees. Now for one of my side dishes, I sauteed onions, zucchini, and squash, which I sliced them all up into these size pieces as you can see. I threw those all into a pan with a little olive oil. I seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and then placed a lid on top and just let those cook while stirring occasionally. For my other side, I made some orzo pasta. I boiled the pasta in just plain water, drained it once it was cooked, then for some flavor I added some chicken broth. In a separate small skillet, I lightly browned some fresh garlic and a little olive oil. I added this to the orzo, sprinkled in some black pepper, and finished it off with some fresh, finely chopped parsley. Hogfish is a super thin flaky fish and it's so worth it to just bake it in the oven and not fry it or anything like this. It really brings out the flavor of hogfish that everyone really loves and it was just really, really good. I really liked it like this. What did you guys think? That was amazingly good, Brooke. I, I loved it. I didn't get to go to the Bahamas, but I got to have a little bit of Bahamas hog snapper and it was delicious. And with the zucchini with onions and the um, the rice you made, wow, it was beautiful. Fish? Um, 10 out of 10. It was perfect. Everything that you cooked tonight was amazing. Thank you. Jen? Everything about what Brooke cooks is just fine dining. And I almost feel bad, you know, every time I eat and making the internet jealous, but I'm not. <laughs> so it was just phenomenal as always. Mom? I love catch and cook night. 
This is really good. I love Hog Snapper. You're really good at cooking, Brooke. I'm really proud of you. Thanks, Mom. That was so nice. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like the video and also to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.